Ignite is an ongoing series of speedy presentations. They range from building multi-person pogo sticks to hacking chocolate. Any topic that geeks hold dear. Each speaker gets only five minutes and 20 slides at auto advance every 15 seconds. Thank you, Brady. I'm Harold Carlton. I design ballpoint pens. You may have seen my work. Almost won an award for that series. Can't tell from this picture, that black pen is Bluetooth enabled. The story that I am about to tell you may sound incredible, but every word of it is true. It began with a simple email one year ago. This email may look innocent, but look closer. Cat food? What cat? I don't have a cat. Also, watching Netflix? I don't even know what that means. But most terrifying, why does this woman have my last name? I had to find out the truth. Fortunately, a friend of mine from the Ballpoint Pen Factory runs this website, Stop Deadly Conspiracies Before They Destroy You, dot com. <laughs> By running that email through this site's patent-pending conspiracy decoding technology, I was able to discern a secret subliminal me message encoded in this woman's email. It's not for the meek. This right here, this is all the proof I need. Ballpoint pen manufacturing is on the decline, and someone from the future would know that! She arrived for dinner that night, as you'll now see in this dramatic reenactment with my assistant, Allegra. How was your day? Fine. Did you make any ballpoint pens? What else would I do? Research deadly conspiracies on the internet? <laughs> Let's watch a Netflix. I don't even know what that means! This went on for months. Email after email. Go pick up the dry cleaning. Get some cat food for a cat that doesn't exist. But as they were translated, each message revealed a new facet of Claudia's secret subliminal plan. I had to find out who she was collaborating with. Her Facebook profile looked innocent enough on the surface, but as her status messages were translated, it became clearly apparent she was in league with a whole network of conspirators, all bent on taking over the future by altering the past. It wasn't just Facebook either. Oh, shit, I have to take this. This is her, it. she'll get suspicious. Hello? Oh, hey, yeah, no, I'm, I'm at Global Ignite Week, like I said, yeah? Yeah, I'm giving that talk about uh, designing ballpoint pens. Oh, well, I told Brady it was about robotics. He just let the whole fucking thing in, yeah? Uh, uh, well, I, actually, uh, I'm giving a speech right now, so I can't really take a, a list or any... Oh, thank you, Allegra. Um, go ahead. Six-pack of Coke. Mm -hmm. uh, cat food. You know, I've been meaning to mention, we do not have a cat. No. I... <clears throat> and uh, a spatula. What happened to the old spatula? Oh, you're right. Questions are for stupid people. I just keep forgetting that. Okay, well, I gotta go. Okay. Where the hell are we? Second dinner Second slide. Second dinner slide. What does that? I don't know what that means. <laughs> oh, there's another dinner. Right. Two days ago, I mentioned to Claudia over dinner. Well, they might be closing the ballpoint pen factory, but don't worry. I think I've lined up a job designing bottle openers. The bottle openers we've already got are perfectly suitable for opening the world's bottles. You've got to keep making pens, Harold, as though the future depended on it. Which is totally theoretical thing. But it wasn't theoretical at all. Last night, I slipped truth serum into Claudia's wine at dinner. My research into drugs and poisons had proven fruitful. She revealed everything. In December of 2012, Apple Computer will introduce a revolutionary new product, the iPen. The iPen will not be interoperable with any other form of writing. The ballpoint pen industry will be the first to collapse. Months later, the fountain pen industry will collapse, and soon even pencil production will collapse. All writing will become digital. Soon, even signatures themselves will become obsolete. You understand, iPen signatures will be easily forged by hackers in China, but real signatures mean something. Without them, there no checks can be signed, no marriage certificates can be signed, acts of war cannot be signed. If terrorists could go back in time and subliminally program people to secretly hoard caches of ballpoint pens, for instance, these pens are hidden in the form of a chandelier, they could rule the future! Harold! Carlton, enough! Oh my god, it's her! No. Fortunately, I knew what you were planning and I've taken over the rest of your slides. <laughs> it's true that by day, Harold Carlton is a ballpoint pen designer. However, would you trust a man who fronts a 70s funk band? I can have hobbies! Harold Carlton in the slippery passages? <laughs> Oops. Hi everyone, I'm Allegra Searle-Labelle. And I'm Jen Moon. 
Now, obviously, we would never use an actual taser on an Ignite speaker. This is actually a replica sonic screwdriver from the hit TV series, Doctor Who. You know, with all the great Ignite talks going on all over the world this week, we just wanted to provide a dramatic reenactment of what might happen if the organizers of this event allowed clinically crazy people to give talks. Because obviously, I'm not a pen hoarding terrorist from the future. If someone wanted to take over the future by altering the past, I'm sure they would never be clever enough to use Global Ignite Week as a vector to spread their subliminal terrorist meme plexus. Well, that's just crazy talk, Allegra. It sure is, Jen. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Enjoy the rest of the show. <laughs> Can uh, somebody please clean this up? Yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. That ends the beginning of, uh, of Ignite. Oh, thanks, guys. Uh, we'll be back in about a half hour. So go get a drink, have fun, check on your car. <laughs>